must say I'm pretty tired this morning. Oh, so I've been down to Coy Water Barn yesterday morning. Then I drove up to Perfect Aquatics, which is absolutely amazing. If anyone's been up there, try out a little trip to Perfect Aquatics. It's got a lot of stock and a, a load of good fish. So we've done um, Perfect Aquatics and Crafty Koi's um, uh, Momotero um, Kawaku Grow and Show yesterday. Absolutely amazing. And I met a really good friend. I... I Feel really embarrassed to tell my missus, but I met a new bird. Check out this. So oh, obviously, Finland lass had to use that. I was wondering why there was a barn owl and koi on there, and that explains everything. Yeah, fantastic birds, man. But um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> so I've been running around the kitchen, giving it a bit of a clean. See all the wet walls. I need to get that Millennium Falcon. I've got a Millennium Falcon right up there. Hang on, hang on. Oh, well, I got a Millennium Falcon up there, which I've been doing for like two years, so that's gonna get done. Uh, give that a bit of a clean. Uh, and I got a cup of coffee. So what we've got to do today is, um, I'm a bit gutted I didn't go down and get my um, insulation uh, boards before today, because I normally get them from Travis and they're closed. So they're open tomorrow. So what I might do is, I might actually just fiberglass it tomorrow, but I'm gonna see if I can complete the roof. And what I might do is put the door back on today, so if it does stop raining and it gets a bit windy, I can I can open and close the door. But today is today, and today I'm gonna to do a few little bits and bobs in there. I gotta go down to Marks and Spencer's and get some posh ob knobs, because I got a couple of hobbyists coming down from Bristol. So uh, yeah, I'll get the translation books out for everyone. Bring me liver, bristle, bristle. Um, yes, we've got some brist aliens coming down, so that's gonna be fun. Uh, they're gonna be down here about 12, I think. I'm hoping the weather's gonna hold off a little, because uh, they want to come down and have a look at the pond, and whoever wants to come down and look at the pond, as long as I'm free, it's absolutely no problem. But um, I'm gonna go outside now and give everything a bit of a clean. I've got to sort out my garage a little, and, my motorbike tank has been sprayed and the wheels are getting sprayed this week as well. So I should be able to pick up all the stuff to crack on with my motorbike, which has worked out really, really well. Because what I've done is I've done the pond while those have been getting sprayed. So by the time I get those, the pond will be up and running. And then I can just clear up the garage and I can just concentrate on the motorbike. Now the motorbike is looking fine. I've had another idea now for the frame. I'm a bit worried about the electrics. I really want to make a new loom for it. Um, but we'll see. I've got a guy working, lives on this street, uh, Evs. I used to go to school with him, but um, luckily for me, he is a mechanic for the MotoGP bikes. <laughs> God, I'm so spawny. I could get like Nicky, the builder, who absolutely is a wizard on bikes, right? But... He's so busy, I can't just pull him away from his work or his family. And, and Evs lives on the street, so I'm gonna get him up and just finalize the bits and bobs of the um, of the wiring, which is not really my forte, do you know what I mean? If anybody's uh, uh, um, uh, like a car electrician or a motorbike electrician, yeah, it's, it's not my kind of thing. Well, let's put it this way, I grind through a six mil armor cable, didn't I? So yeah. So let's see what we can do today now. I'm gonna do some stuff, some cleaning. I've got some pipe work actually, and I've got some K1 that I bought from Perfect Aquatic. So, and I put the self-leveling on the floor. It looks so good. <coughs> right, yo then guys. So here is the floor. It is absolutely lovely. Lovely and smooth, lovely and flat. In fact, there's, uh, uh, that's about five to 10 mil higher that end than it is here because I, I, I tipped everything. I tipped the 60 kg of self level in there. It's about 15 mil at the top. And it just pitters all the way down here. And it is absolutely lovely. That is perfect. Couldn't get better than that. That was a, a good idea to do that. But this is the problem I've got. Look, you've got some water ingress here. So I'm gonna put my um, window, my door back on here now. And also what I'm going to try to do is just sort that little last little bit out there. It's just to see if I can get it totally watertight. So if I wanted to tomorrow, I can actually go ahead and fiberglass this. 
Guys, you're not going to recognise this place. Oh, I've cleaned everything. It's a feeling to have a reasonably clean garage. So, yeah, got some uh, K1 Plus ready for the Awaz drum. So I'm going to put 100 litres into that. I think it says maximum you could put is 80, but I know for a fact you could put 100. I'm sure I put more in it before. Depends how strong your, um, your air pump is. So I've got a 95 going on that, which is proper overkill. So the 95 will run that and the air curtain easy. Because believe it or not, the air curtain only takes, oh, mate, five litres an hour or something. We'll just atomise that lovely in there. So we've got all of this. Um, I've got some friends coming down in a minute. And look, oh, actually, let me show you this first. So I put the door back on here. So this is all nice and um, that's perfect. So what I've done is I put the old, uh, um, basically door from the pond on there. So that's gonna keep that actually really nice. So uh, I've got a little bit of ingress in water there, but I think that's from where it was raining in there. So that might be able to uh, get fiberglass tomorrow. I don't know, but I'm certainly not gonna rush it. But look by here, guys. Got myself a gazebo. Look at that. Pretty cool, isn't it? 30 quid. It's got annoying holes everywhere, but pretty cool. And that, oh. Um, um. Here's for the mug, Vince. I've seen Vince yesterday in Crafty's Grow and Show event. I love that guy. Toast is ready. Right, okay, so what we're going to do now is have a little bit of toast. I am going to do final little measure up, go down to the building merchants, get some insulation and some triangular timber, and let's get this pond officially 100% ready for fiberglass in. Whether I fiberglass this afternoon or not, I'm not sure. There's a massive possibility that I might be doing it. Uh, depends what the weather's going to do. So we will see. Guys, here we are. Just done a little measure up now. So we're obviously about three foot high. The boards come four by eights. So what I'm going to do is, instead of doing a long... Oh yeah, just do a long strip. But then it's easier for me to carry it down if I cut them all in half on the truck. So what I'm going to do is, I'm probably going to do them in half. So I'm going to cut the boards in half. But one board will come to here. Next board will go to there. So that's one board for each side. And then I'll have a little bit left over. And then what I'll do is I might get a half board in 50 mil. Uh, so I can do that side, the back on its own, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm tired, I've just woken up. Yeah, so like I said before, if I cut the boards in half, one will be there with a joint. One will be there with a joint, a joint and a joint. So they'll go straight down tape them there's a lot easier to use them in smaller sections so i'll do that there and then i've got enough cut off here then to pack that corner in easy and just do two down there i think i might do two down here we'll see um and then i'll get half a 50 mil board then to pack the back up and uh, we'll put we'll get this all solvent welded in properly really exciting clean off the bottoms of the walls a little bit where there's a bit of muck so they sit against there nice and I'll stick it on with um, some spare tubes of uh, silicon I've got just to hold them on. And then what I'll do then is I'll get the um, the bottom trim to go on. You know that, the, the um, triangular fence kind of panel, well, timbers or whatever they're called. So um, probably get three of those. So if it's eight foot, two, uh, yeah, probably get three of those. Oh, actually might get four, because I might do that. And I might... No, I'm not going to do those. But I'm going to do that corner there for sure. Yeah, so I might get away with three, actually. Let's measure up. So for second cup of coffee of the day. <clears throat> Seen Gaz up the, uh, the growing show as well. Cheers, boy. <sighs> then, guys, I'm living life on the edge here. So what we have got is some... Um, uh, cleaner because these are a bit dirty but what I've done that is the original fitting oh the price of these things are horrendous but anyway um that that isn't a joke isn't it but anyway whatever um that there is the fitting I'm going to be using which will push up against the um uh the insulation insulation so the fiberglass can really bond to this section here now i used two inch ones of these on the other pond which actually did work out a lot cheaper than those square ones you can make and they look tidier so what i've done is 
you can see I've trimmed it down literally to the max. And what I've done is I've trimmed this right down as well. So I've got about 10 mil there for this to fit into here. And then that will fit on the top there. Now, that's the only way I can get them as close as I need it to be to be able to um, be acceptable on that back wall to make it flush, if you know what I mean. I right then, guys, so that is that all solvent welded on. The only thing that's not solvent welded is that 90 there, so that's not a really concern for me. But yeah, all nice, all on. So all sol solvent welded, so you can see now, I haven't got that much to pack up, to be honest. Yes, a little, but uh, we'll just pack that section up there with insulation. Ah, yes, you know. What can you do? Got to work with what you got. Lovely. Here we are then, guys. Slow and steady. I am really enjoying myself. I don't think I'll be fiberglassing today, guys. Uh, I need to pack up this area and do bits and bobs, but um, I certainly don't want to rush this because, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a, the enjoyable bit, isn't it? Just getting it all, all um, finally done. So, um, yeah. Like I said, there's spits of rain that come through everywhere. So realistically, yeah, it's it's not going to be. Oh, the auto feeder's gone off. Fiberglass today, but um, I am going to crack on with this now. I'm going to do this side here. Um, yeah, really cool. So let's see what I come up with with that little uh, that little slice of the cake. But I do want to cut this little stump off here as well we're we'll trying to pack that with a nice bit of timber um i still haven't done this little section here yet because i haven't bought that spare bit you know i want to put some lights up in here i want to get rid of all these cobwebs i want to make it look lovely so um yeah when little tip as well guys that when you put this insulation on one side has got like the squares for the horizontal and the uh, vertical lines and the other side is totally blank not teaching you to suck eggs, but definitely use this bit because when you're fiberglassing, when you're down on your knees and you're fiberglassing and you've got like a nasal passage full of absolute stinkiness, this is a massive help as in a guide. So uh, always, always do that that way, you know? And then what I will do is chamfer these off uh, later on with some coarse sandpaper. And then we've got the good old my favorite silver tape silver tape will be put right up onto there so no resin gets in there holds it all tight lovely yeah and they're so satisfying doing this guys um so i just made like a nice little incision around there so now we're gonna do that one back wall there we'll do that and then i've got i've got another sheet i bought three sheets so i was only gonna buy two but because i couldn't buy a 50 mil half sheet i just bought one one of these because you have to buy them in packs so let's get that bit done and then uh i guess we'll probably put a bit of tape on these and then put the timbers in the floor area there which i'm really looking forward to state of that mug already back on the old gas as well i gotta say coffee tastes quite nice in that cup but anyway here we are then guys we're getting on so um Left it a little bit proud there, but that's going to be sanded and chamfered down. Um, quite lucky here, though, guys. I probably can get away with putting one more bit of insulation here uh, to get to there. And then I'll probably have to put maybe two here. So not too bad. And obviously just fill in these little, uh, little chocks here. But uh, yeah, slow and steady. I think if I put one more piece there... It'll come to there. I'll have a slight bump by there on the fiberglass, but I don't really care. And I think it'll look quite cool. Um, yeah. Like I said, I could put two more on each side. We'll see. We'll see what goes on. Whatever I think looks right, we will do. So, yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite liking that already. It's, uh, it makes such a difference when you get this insulation on. And I absolutely love working with this stuff. It's, um, but that... That and that combined is a winner. Trust me, I absolutely love it. But this stuff is absolutely lovely to work with. When you're sawing it, it's horrible. Eyes and all that kind of stuff is, is, is gross. But like, when you actually use a scalpel, a Stanley, sorry, it is way better. 
way, way, way better. So, uh, yeah, really cool. Okay, let's get on with this. Video, guys, apart from cutting my bloody finger again on that tape, be careful, I've warned you. Um, we're getting there now, so I'm taping up these sides. Um, my sister is an absolute legend. Managed to grab a little bit of this uh, foam off her uh, just to pack up around there. When it goes off now, I'll get it off, but um, it's not very not very puffy foam, so I might have to borrow a little bit more from it, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, yeah, anyway, buy cheap, buy twice, Jane, buy better foam. Uh, so now what I'm going to do when that's going off is start putting the, um, the timber around the sides of the floor, i.e. this stuff. Real fan of this. It just eliminates any dead spots in any corner. Do you know what I mean? It's just, uh, it's brilliant. And it also holds things really back and it gives a lovely 45 degree chamfer for all of the fiberglass to sit lovely. Because fiberglass really doesn't like 90 degree bends. Now, a 90 degree internal bend is way better because you get a real good flooding of the um, resin in that gap which ain't a massive problem, but the external ones like this, it's really rubbish. So we've got to do these as well. But yeah, let's, uh, let's, keep, uh, let's keep moving on. Oh, lovely. Let's get this last little bit done. Just around here now. I gotta cut another little bit for that. Messed it up. Uh oh. Well, lovely. So we've drilled all of these on solid all the way across. Uh, I've used a bit more of my sister's expanding foam just, just to pack that a little. When it goes off now, I'll put the flat blade in and get that lovely and flat. Um, I've put this one up on the side. Next thing I'm gonna do now is just trim these tops. I'm gonna get my laser level on you to trim these. So you can see that it's got three layers on that just to get it right. Um, I've sort of chamfered these in, quite neat to be honest. Um, and like I said, that pipe there protrudes out probably about 10 mil, maybe, maybe 15 at a max. But um, yeah. That's, uh, that doesn't bother me at all. So well, I'm gonna do all of this now and then I'm gonna cut that off because I do my nutting because I, obviously I wanna put the um, coping stones on here and that has always been in the way. Um, and then the next thing I'm gonna do then is core drill, well, just, yeah, not core drill, but drill a little hole here ready for my air to tap in. And I'm gonna put my air line all the way across here. Well, just above that, I think. Boom, boom, boom. That won't be done yet though, but uh, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's take the rest of these bits and bobs. Lovely. And what I've done is here, if you can see, I've wedged that out there. So the window goes in there. And when the window does go in there, then I'll fill up the rest of this little thing with CT1. Uh, no, uh, my pond MS13, sorry. Uh, MS13, that's a bloody gangster bat thing, isn't it? MS300. Uh, and then obviously the, uh, the window sits onto this lintel here. Oh, well, she's coming together slowly. But yeah, I'm not gonna fiberglass it today. I'm gonna do like a real nice video on the fiberglassing. And yes, I am gonna change that broken window. Don't worry about that. At some point. <sighs> My sister always gives me this cock mug. I don't know why. Well, that sounds wrong. But I think it's because she thinks I'm a cock. If you know what I mean. All right, guys. <clears throat> One of my favourite parts of the job, but we're slowly getting there now. Um, filling all the gaps with all the silver tape. Because uh, when I um, fiberglass this, I don't like any resin seeping out anywhere, uh, which is a possible activation or whatever with some other kind of foam. So I know for a fact that the resin I use don't um, sort of like eat away into the silver tape or the backing foil for this uh, insulation. So I'd rather just keep it all totally separate, do you know what I mean? Uh, so yeah, we're getting there, but I am gonna go make myself a cup of coffee. Because it's quite warm in here, to be honest. It is absolutely boiling. Um, might even clean the windows later. I'm serious. 
Um, but listen, I've, uh, 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 on the last video I put on about the uh, Grow and Show, the Sakai females, well, minus five males if you want them, um, I was saying that there was no prize at the end, but there is. There's a £500 gift voucher for um, Koi Water Barn. How amazing is that? So more details will come. Amazing. I don't care what anyone says. You can't beat a pot doodle. Absolutely love them. Don't know why. I just bloody love them. Because apart from the pot noodle, we're getting some good progress here. Um, I'm almost done. I'm just going to put... I'll just check everything over. Um, and I'm going to clear out the bottom drain really well. Get all of those bits of gunk out. Um... Oh my god, I'm very happy. So I might put another another layer all the way around it just to uh, buffer up the layers so it's nice and strong. I need to put a little bit just up onto the wood there. But uh, yeah, I'll be back to you in a minute. Oh yeah. Oh, right then, guys. It is officially 100% ready to fiberglass. Am I going to fiberglass it today? Nope. Because I'm absolutely shattered. Actually, doing a good job does take time. Um, and I'm overwhelmed with how cool it looks. I love this silver trim on this. Looks like, oh, I don't know, mate. Barbarella's jacuzzi or something like that. It's like amazing. Um, but anyway, let me spin you around and show you what I've done. There's a northern accent again. Absolutely chuffed. Doesn't it look so cool, all silver? Why can't it just stay like that? It'd be amazing. But it's actually really warm in there today, guys. The sun's out now, look. Um, still got my little pergola up. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's all done. So, cleaned out the bottom drain. Uh, I've actually sanded the top. And what I've done is I've actually chamfered this. It's a little bit rounder as well. I'm thinking about putting my... Um, uh, to round this a bit more, putting my router on it, just, just to give it that round lip. Um, all of these are rounded off, if you can see. All rounded, for your pleasure. Uh, and the fiberglass, I am going to start the fiberglass right up here. Um, or, I don't know, some somewhere there. Um, that's all done now, if you can see those uh, inlets. Uh, so I've got a little bit of pipe um, but not a lot, if you look at that, it's, uh, what is that? If you can see my finger the other, the other side, look, it's not even half a nail, so it's pretty good there. Managed to saw off that little bit there. Just wanted to put this back, just to see the full glory. I've hoovered all of these off, so all of this is, like, contaminants-free, pretty much. Before I do it, I am going to get up here and get rid of all of these cobwebs and put the last bit of timber up there, glue them in, uh, finish that over there. So realistically, we're probably talking my next day off, um, as long as it isn't torrential rain. Um, yeah, we will be cooking on gas. So again, done all of this, if you can see, so we'll fiberglass straight onto this. Um, haven't bothered doing the bottom. The bottom is only about 20, 25 mil in height. So uh, it's enough to seat the window against so I'm not too worried about that but yeah I would have liked a little bit more there however it's not a very deep pond there's not a lot of pressure going to be pushing against that window in the grand scheme of things compared to other ponds if you know what I mean got to grind that off in a minute that does my nutting but um yeah pretty pretty happy with that I must say pretty happy um so pipe work is still going to be done there. I'm going to tile this as well. I may as well before I fill it. So I'll, I think I'll tile at least this little section here. Got loads of the tiles left under there. And white and black, it'd just be nice just to get rid of them because they do my nut in. So uh, yeah, might do that. But again, from here, guys, if I have... The sliding windows here. I've still got a great view of the pond. Doesn't it look at make that so satisfying. Check out that. Look at that little sort of like V, if you know what I mean. 
Oh, well, sorry, no, it looks like the flex, a flux capacitor. <laughs> what I'm going to do on these as well is I'm going to score out uh, a round circle around the um, silver tape there and really rough up the plastic just so uh, it does, I have got a bit of a bond onto the plastic with the fiberglass as well. That's what I did last time. I'll probably do that now. That's probably going to be what, let's do it. There we are then guys. So as you can see there, look, I've just, um, just exposed the plastic there just to uh, give a little bit more of a bond. I'll rough it up as well. I sort of key it, you know, with the, uh, with the Stanley, like Zorro to give it real good deep, deep keys. But what I do is I don't just key it straight. I key it a 45 degree angle. So the resin gets into it and, and holds. Uh, just smashed my head on that, by the way. Um, anyway, guys, so... Yeah, really glad of the progress here today. Now, like I said, it is just ready for fiberglass, and I've got to clean around that window now, so that job is coming very close. Um, yeah, very good. So that's getting close. Uh, and what else am I going to do? Well, yeah, fiberglass it, really. So, uh, can't be bad. I am absolutely buzzing. So... Hope you guys like this video um, as much as I've liked doing it. But it's half five now. I'm going to take my dog for a walk, have a shower. I think I might have a glass of Prosecco. That's a little metrosexual of myself, but I fancy one. <laughs>